Hi friends, welcome to another tutorial of Easy Video Series. Here I am going to show you how to create a flowchart in Microsoft PowerPoint 2013. Though this uh, video is being shown on 2013, this can be equally applicable on 2007 and 2010. So here is my PowerPoint and this is a sample flowchart that I am just showing you that I will create. So in PowerPoint, I would just recommend that you can remove these additional borders, this additional click here to state, so that it becomes a blank like a canvas. So for inserting the shape, you need to come to the insert menu and under the insert ribbon, there is shape. Under these shapes, you have flowchart. A flowchart start state and the end state are this terminator symbols. So just click here and make a terminator box just hover it and you can write let's say I write just a start state and then you come back to the insert again shapes and in the flowchart this is for data input select that so PowerPoint will actually help you as you can see this uh, dotted lines that tells you okay the figure is in exactly the center. I write it. Um, I'm just doing this as a uh, sample flowchart. You can create of your own. Then we have a decision box. Come to the insert shapes again flowchart and there goes a decision box. So, so this helps me and uh, the amazing feature is it will actually show me is it equidistance so this shows me this diamond is basically equidistance from about to then i can come to insert shapes again flowchart and this time i select the process i am not showing you the things that need to be written in the box because it is just uh, you can click on the box and write process one for another side, I will just recommend you to copy paste. Uh, you can simply copy paste it by pressing control and dragging across. Control and dragging across works for anything. Any object can be copy pasted using that process. And since the start and the end six are the same, I just click on the start six, come to home, click copy and click paste. It's just pasted adjacent to it. I will just drag down and it will show me see it's exactly the same as the start. So let me write here end. Okay. This creates a simple flowchart. Let us select everything now. And then you can come to drawing tools. You can select uh, the color of your choice. Okay. Uh, let's select this black and white. This looks pretty cool. Another important thing is about connecting them. You come to insert, click on shapes, and you can click on lines. Okay, let's select the arrow. So, as you can see, there are four dots being shown here. One is here, one is here, one is here, one is here. So, these are glue points. I will tell you what glue points are. So, I select one of these and I connect it to this. So, as you can see, this green dots that shows me that these are attached now. So if I increase the length of this input box, see my arrow increases it correspondingly. So this is quite an important feature if you want to ex uh, expand or contract your data basically. Okay, so in this way your arrow is connected. You can again come. Um, normally you can draw the outline of a diagram first and then insert arrows. I would suggest you there is another small tweak. Just right click on the lines because you need to insert many many lines and you can click on lock drawing mode okay so line is permanently selected see again i am selecting it here i select it here and i uh, try as far as possible you try to stick the lines to the glue lines because see all my lines are now attached to the blue lines and you can see that there is a green color appearing whenever i click on this so I can just go insert and select the line so that my lock is unlocked now. So that's it. My flowchart is ready.
for lines you can select multiple lines using the control key press control on your keyboard and then select multiple lines you can come to drawing tools and maybe select line of different colors this is orange line and shape outline under shape outline you can give a weight to the line let the lines appear a bit thicker so these are the thicker lines that you wish to have okay uh, you can also come to the insert shapes in the shapes in the line sections you can go for these lines elbow connectors okay if you want a kind of this so these are the various kind of connectors basically making a flowchart in powerpoint is very very easy you get all the shapes that are required in a powerpoint for database storage and everything and magnetic disk or also you can use all these symbols to make the flowchart more aesthetic and more good looking finally uh, if you want to shave uh, save the flowchart as a figure you can just select all you can group it okay so when you group any object in microsoft it becomes a single object and then maybe you can save as a picture so when i click on save as picture let me save it on desktop only as picture one so there you go so this is our flowchart as a picture the good thing about this is you can even copy this and you can paste it in word 2013 I need to copy it again. Home, copy, paste. There you go. You get the flowchart entirely in Word. Now you can ungroup it. Right click on the flowchart anywhere, click on group, and then click ungroup. So now these components can be edited in Word also. Let's say I want this as my new input. Okay. The advantage of being uh, working in Microsoft PowerPoint is that you can get blue points. Like in Word, I don't know why I removed the feature Microsoft. I don't know it sometimes does some really weird things. Okay. The feature was that there are no glue points here. See, I can attach it. I don't know whether it will be straight. And then if I make this box, the glue line is actually gone. Okay. So I would recommend you, you can make the PowerPoint, the flowchart in the PowerPoint and then you can copy paste it to a word. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice time.